I'm shooting for Nash and, you know, got Kainoa over here and it was perfect timing for wind and conditions to learn how to kite. For the most part, I suck. I want to end up trying windsurf. I want to just do everything. I'm at that point now. Like, why not? Ooh, man. Later, boy. Hey, you guys. Bah. right. The ocean has given me so much. It's the best. Anything less. Ain't it? it is my greatest provider. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's it right there. I can't imagine my life without the ocean. I would go absolutely nuts. Side on short. It's it's fun out there, and we're gonna try to get you to do all that fun stuff. But crawl, we'll fun. crawl first. Yes, exactly. It's good for crawling. your. So this is a four meter kite. So we're way depowered, but you you can already feel. Yeah, I can. And it's not it. even flying. So try to steer left, right. You know what's great about Kainoa is that more than anything, you know, he's a big, gnarly, tough guy and he's, you know, such a prominent rider out at Pipeline. Relax the grip, relax the grip. So release and pump left. And for him to, you know, be able to come here and be brought back down to, you know, that beginner level, it just shows that He's doing it because he really wants to learn it. And it doesn't matter what the whole world thinks as long as you're having fun. Don't no. ever tell me, like, oh, the kite did that. I don't know. Kyle's blaming his kite this morning. What's up with that? Let's go, let's go. Heads up, heads up, heads up. So the challenges of kite surfing, the fact that I suck is a huge challenge. <laughs> like, you can. Otherwise, you're going to do kite Do that. Thing. Actually, trying to keep the proper tension on it is the hardest part at this point for me. Trying to control what actually comes out of my mouth for one. Don't get used to it, though. Steer from here. Yeah, and you could do mouth. it with fingers. Yeah, finger technique. So, while Kainoa went down to Nash Beach to learn how to kite, I had to get shots for Nash on the new gear. So we had some of the Nash team riders doing our jump shoot. We had guys like Sam Light from England, Rick Jensen from Germany, and Jesse Richmond from Maui. It was just really fun to watch how these guys just did move so effortlessly. One session, everyone's just feeding off each other. Guys are throwing down bigger and bigger moves. It's almost like a competition between everyone because everyone wants to outdo each other. It's good because it pushes the whole team up. By the end of the entire shoot, all of a sudden, you realize, oh man, my riding has gone up so much because I've been surrounded by the best in the world, and I learned so much. I was having so much fun, but I, I knew I probably wasn't having as much fun as Kainela. The instruction was awesome. For the most part, I suck. Heads up, heads up. Tell me now. So the wind's definitely stronger today, so if I totally screw up today, it's 100% my fault. But I'll blame her anyway. Today, we're going to go straight in the water. Just going to go oh, yeah. out there and do some body dragging, Superman position, and it's going to be great. I used to being nervous. I think once I get up and riding, I'll be fine. I think that's when I'll be happy. At this point, I'm still, you know, like body dragging and board dragging and just like, oh. I want to just get up on my damn feet already, and then if I do face plants, it's all good. Check it. Yo, how we do? Damn it. That was really nice, but you did it kind of gently. I've never been accused of that before. Yeah, I, promise. I, I promise I've never accused of being gentle. Put your money where your mouth is. Only take cash, play, boy. You ain't bad this lifestyle. Yeah. It's a big guy fly, there's some Wi-Fi. Still pull your chick rock and slings that away. When I got 
got the second drag going good, I had it right there. And then I cooped it. No matter like how you know big of a pro surfer or snowboarder or whatever they are, they come here and they have to learn the type. See my shades high. And today was actually the breakthrough aha kind of day where I kind of feel like I finally, at the end of the day, I was happy. So this entire week has just been absolutely nuts. This one for my soldiers in the field, bro. I went stand up paddling early in the morning, got some sick shots. If you listen to the rose that grew from concrete, rest in peace. This one for my soldiers in the field, bro. All my women that kept it more than real, y'all. Know the streets is more than just beef. If you listen to the rose that grew from concrete was with Chuck Patterson, and he was like, hey, let's go windsurfing. And I'm like, shoot, let's go. I tell you what, we're about to be heard. No longer holding back, so I fire the word street pass. I'm not judging, do what you do. Just remember, when you make it, your drama is through. Until then, grab your crew, meet me out the park. After dark, they on the corner, spitting hip hop. This one for my soldiers in the field, bruh. While I was off and about doing the Nash shoot, I know I was learning how to body drag, and so I swung by to check him out and see how his progress was doing, and I ended up coming out to the beach, and I was like, well, it looks like Verita has him pretty, you know, dialed in. Go on, Kaina, you almost have it. Good. Might need a new height. These sports, especially when they're with wind, are so tedious when it, you know, it's like you're almost there, but you're not quite. It can be discouraging and you're like, gosh, I just want to do it. The whole reason why I'm here and I'm taping myself falling flat on my face doing kite surfing, because I want people to see that. It doesn't matter how good you think you are or aren't. You just have to put in the effort and you know, that you work to do whatever it takes. I want people to hopefully be inspired and just say, hell yeah, I'm going to do that regardless of your age, regardless of your ability. Just get out there and do it. There you go, up! Up! Yeah! Up! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, oh, one handing! <laughs> no, no! It was all good until it went wrong. <laughs> right before that point. We are here on Lake Michigan to do this project where I went surf from one end to the other. I got into the middle and then I couldn't see either side and I'm like, no, I'm hallucinating, this can't be. 